Morning all. All right, so we just have three games tonight in the NHL, so we're going to have some news of the day first, and then we'll talk about tonight's preview. Uh, pretty pretty big trade. Uh, Vlad Tarasenko traded to the Florida Panthers, big in terms of name value, of course. Uh, Vlad Tarasenko, a player who won a Stanley Cup in 2019 with St. Louis, would like to add a ring to that. Uh, acquired by the Florida Panthers from the Ottawa Senators. In exchange, the Ottawa Senators get a 2025 third round pick. They get a fourth round pick this year, but in the event that Florida wins the Stanley Cup, it upgrades to a third round draft pick. So in Vlad Tarasenko, Florida's getting a player who's on an expiring contract. They are only taking on half the contract as well as Ottawa's retained half. Uh, so Tarasenko, 57 games this year, 17 goals, 24 assists, 41 points. Uh, in 2021-2022, he played 75 games for the Blues that year, 34 goals, 48 assists, 82 points. So it's possible he could get back in that point per game range playing with Florida, depending on which line he ends up on. But this just means Florida adds to their already ridiculous amount of depth. Uh, Florida has been uh, the best team in the league for a while. This should actually make them stronger. But we'll see. Let me know your thoughts. Now, with Tarasenko, he's not the same player he was many years back when I thought he had potential to be a Rocket Richard winner. And I, I still think he would have, uh, but shoulder injuries, other injuries and stuff uh, held him back. At any rate, we'll see which Tarasenko the Florida Panthers get. I would think he'll score just fine there. Uh, I, I think it'd be difficult for a player not to in that environment, but we shall see. Uh, apparently, Nick Sealer is, is closing in on a contract extension with the Philadelphia Flyers, which would make it highly likely that Sean Walker is dealt between now and Friday morning. Uh, so Nick Sealer, one of the best shot blockers in the NHL this year, physical defenseman, and it's nice to see he's going to get compensated. Uh, the word has been that it'll be in about the $3.5 million range. At least that's what the speculation was about a week ago. Uh, we'll see if that in, in fact becomes the case. Uh, Rasmus Sandin has signed a massive extension with the Washington Capitals, five years at $4.6 million per season. I like Sandin, former first-round draft pick, of course, of the Toronto Maple Leafs, who was acquired by Washington at the deadline last year. He has not looked out of place with the Washington Capitals. Uh, a lot of potential there, and so that's what they're betting on, is that potential. Uh, he joins Protus as good young players that Washington's committing to, uh, in the hopes that it pays off down the road. So we'll see. Let me know your thoughts on the Sandine extension. Of course, let me know your thoughts on the Tarasenko trade as well. Uh, 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific tonight, we will see the Buffalo Sabres and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Buffalo has won the first two matchups, November 4th by a score of 6-4, to four, December 21st by a score of 9-3. to three. The fourth and final meeting will be on March the 30th. Uh, on the Buffalo side of things, they're 29-29-4. and four. They're 6-4 and four in their last 10. Eric Johnson could get moved. He's on an expiring contract. They might have to retain a bunch of it, but uh, 50 games this year for Eric Johnson, just three goals. Uh, but again, that veteran presence, playoff experience, I could see him being moved. Toronto 35, 18, and 8 overall. They're 8 and 2 in their last 10 games. Uh, Martin Jones is one I'd keep an eye on just because they have three goalies they're carrying right now. He's 11, 7, and 1 this season. 907 save percentage. Always a bit of a fist pump when Martin Jones is above a 900 save percentage for me. Uh, 930 Eastern, 630 Pacific start between Detroit and Colorado. Of course, on February 22nd, Detroit won this one 2-1 to one in overtime at home. We'll see what happens now in Denver. Uh, Detroit 33-22-8 and eight overall. They will, of course, be without Dylan Larkin for the next couple of weeks. They're 6-4 in their last 10. Uh, Justin Hall, there's been discussion of whether or not he's going to get traded. That contract stands out as one that hasn't done particularly well this year. He has five assists in 35 games as a Red Wing this year. On the Colorado side, they're 38-20-5 overall. They're 6-3-1 and one in their last 10 games. Uh, word has it they're looking for help down the middle. I think uh, Johansson has not produced the way they'd hoped. Uh, 63 games, 13 goals, 10 assists, 23 points. So they're, they're likely looking for a second line center. I will say that I think they might be good enough to win without making any upgrades down the middle, but we'll see what they do. Uh, 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific start between Ottawa and the Anaheim Ducks. So of course, Ottawa will be without Tarasenko in that matchup. <clears throat> the Sens 25-31-3 and three overall. They're 3-6-1 and one in their last 10. And the last time these teams met was February 15th in Ottawa. Anaheim won that game 5-1. Uh, the Ducks are 22-36-3 overall. They're 4-5-1 in their last 10. And the two players I'm keeping an eye on from them 
Uh, Chikrin for the Ottawa Senators, uh, nine, nine goals, 22 assists, 31 points. There's been a lot of speculation about whether or not they might now move Chikrin. Uh, I mean, new management and all may not be as sold on him as previous management. Uh, we'll see if they if they decide to move him or not. And Henrique. Henrique on the Anaheim side, there's been a lot of talk about whether or not they're going to move Henrique. Uh, 18 goals, 24 assists, 42 points this season for Adam Henrique. Of course, neither of these teams anywhere near a playoff spot, so should be in full sell mode. And yeah, let me know your winners for these games in the comment section below as always. And let me know your thoughts on the trade deadline thus far. It's been relatively quiet. It feels like things are starting to pick up. But uh, nothing earth-shattering as of yet. I don't think it's moved the needle that much. Just Florida deciding to stack the deck a little bit in their favor. But let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you've not done so already. Thank you guys for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.